Sup, juiced tubers? Get it? Juiced versus YouTubers? Okay, I was lying too. Uh, if you saw my previous video the other day where I'm working on making my front disc brakes a little bit quieter, I found a way to suspend the front end up using my giant ladder, little giant ladder, big giant ladder, adjustable ladder. And someone made a comment on that video, well, what about getting the ass end up? A regular mountain bike, road bike, bike stand won't support 110 pounds and there's nothing really for it to mount to. So, if you remember, and I will show you again, what I do is I just kind of angle the bike in like this, get one end set up on the rung, first rung right there, and then lift the other side up and get it onto the rung. My brake levers are accessible, my front wheel free spins quietly. Don't need to stand anymore. So the question is, what about the back end? I got the solution for it, and it's really easy. So watch this. This is not climbing rope. This is more like rope rope. Uh, this is like a static rope. I think this is five millimeters, rated for 12 kilonewtons, which might not be enough for a 110 pound bike. So we're not going to use that because it's questionable. It's questionable on the strength. So we all, all guys carry paracord, right? A paracord wrist bracelet. And what kind of guy doesn't carry their, their C19 mask in their pocket and paracord in their pocket? So here's what I'm thinking, follow along people. Down through the hole, back up over here. Just a double hitch knot, boom. Sling the paracord over the top, bring it back down, same way, through the other hole. Now, lift up, hold it there while you get your first hitch on here. Now put a double hitch on it, and look, now we got this thing suspended, it's holding on the 550 cord, and this is more like probably about a 250 cord because it's from China, piece of shit cord, but we've got it up, and listen to this, I don't know if you can hear it, got a little bit of brake squeal. But here's something I don't like right now. And I'm getting off the subject of the lift and support for this, but I spin this, I should still be spinning. On my mountain bike, that tire would still be going and going and going. There's a lot of wheel rotational resistance, meaning the bearings inside here are crap. The motor probably is binding up. The wheel is heavy AF. You want to know why you're not getting 70 plus miles of range? That's it right there. Besides the bike being heavy AF. Now, what happens if we turn the bike on, level one and give it throttle? This could be an epic fail video. See that thing vibrate? Can you see that thing vibrate? That is how bad the wheel and the motor is out of balance. Look at that. Right there, that's really getting out of whack really bad. Brakes. Supporting the bike is easy if you got a ladder and some 550 paracord.
but now it just opens up another can of worms on the piss poor quality build of this bike. That being said, it's still fun to ride. Let's, let's try this again. Now that initial burst, and I'm on level one, of power is torque. But after that, the motor cuts off because it quickly reaches its 20 miles an hour, and now it's just accentuating the heavy tire, the heavy motor, the out of balance. Ah! All right, man, I hope this helps you. You're gonna need this because you're gonna be working on your bike as much as I'm working on mine. All right, man, this definitely deserves a thumbs up. And I think the subscribe button's gonna be right about over here somewhere. Uh, please subscribe, I got more stuff coming out. See ya.